In today's video, we're going to set up Yahoo Mail with a custom domain so you can send and receive emails to your Yahoo account from your own custom address. I'll show you exactly how to do this. So this is my custom address here. And by default, I can send it from my own domain rather than yahoo.com. I can also receive the emails into my Yahoo account by using Cloudflare's email routing. So Cloudflare can actually forward the emails from your custom domain into your Yahoo email for you. I'll show you exactly how I did all of this. And in my testing, I've had pretty good success with getting the emails to land in Gmail when I've tested it in my primary inbox. The um, custom domain emails land in here just fine. And looking at the headers, they're also passing all the verifications that Gmail puts on there. So the deliverability seems pretty good with this method. And also, this isn't the first email tutorial I've done on the channel. I've done plenty of other methods as well. We'll talk about those towards the end of the video as well for alternatives. But if all this sounds interesting, then keep watching. All right, to do this video, you'll obviously need two things, a Cloudflare account and a Yahoo email account. So in Cloudflare, you'll need to have your domain added to your Cloudflare account. If you haven't done that already, I've done that in a previous tutorial, I'll put that up there, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Sign up at cloudflare.com, add your domain here, go through the prompts. So I'm using Idea Test Site for this demonstration. So let's check that one out. And we wanna go over to email here. All right, my screen looks like this, but the first time you actually run this, it'll usually trigger a setup wizard so you can get started with your email routing. So you can go through the wizard. It's pretty easy to do. The main thing is that you put in your custom address. For example, I'm gonna use Alex at Idea Test Site, and I wanna forward that through to my Yahoo account in this case. So I've got ideaspot at yahoo.com. And that's what we'll put in there. But I'll actually show you how to do this manually as well from this screen. It's basically the same thing. We click enable email routing, uh, enable email routing there and add records and enable. That's gonna add these DNS records to your Cloudflare DNS. So go ahead and do that. And then under routes there, we can add a custom address. So we can create an address here and I want to use Alex at Idea Test Site. I'm going to send that email through to um, Ideaspot at uh, yahoo.com. That's my Yahoo email address I'm gonna use for this example. So save that in there. And this is actually going to send a, a verification email over to your Yahoo account. So you've got this green success message here and it's pending verification. So we head over to our Yahoo account. It has one new message in here and it's from Cloudflare. So we're gonna open that up and verify our email address. So this will take a little second and it has a success message here. It's now verified. Go back to that email routing. There we go. Again, I was using idea test site for this example and we're back under email routing here. So it looks like it's pretty good. And then after a few seconds, your routing status should change to green enabled and DNS record should be green as well. So this looks all good. In theory now, we can actually receive emails um, from our custom email address into our Yahoo address. So let's go ahead and test this out. I'm gonna try sending a test email from another email account and seeing if I receive it in my Yahoo account here. All right, so I've got my test email here. It's gonna be from uh, my Gmail, ideaspotclassgmail.com. I'm sending it to Alex at Idea Test Site. So that should go through to our Yahoo account. Let's go ahead and send that over. And about five seconds later in my inbox here, I've got my Ideaspot uh, test email came through just fine. So that looks like it's working good. So that is working to receive email from the custom address. But what about sending email from our custom address? We can actually do that in our Yahoo account as well. So let's head over to our settings and let's set this up under more settings here. We can go to mailboxes. And Yahoo actually has this really nice inbuilt feature, send only email address. We can add that on here and we can put our custom email in here. So in my case, I am using Alexa idea test site, click next there. And we just have to verify. So verify to set it up. Yahoo is actually gonna send a email which should get forwarded into our uh, inbox actually. So let's go back to our inbox and wait for that verification from Yahoo. Again, that took a few seconds, but under our inbox here, we've got Yahoo, please verify your email address here. And that's just a case of please clicking here to verify. It's gonna ask us to sign in for a bit of extra security. So let's go ahead and sign in again. So just follow that sign in process, click verify, and then we can return to our account settings. And that will take you back to your account page. Now I did notice that it did take a little while because this uh, was not verified. It didn't verify instantly. It took actually five or six minutes for this not verified message to go away after I reloaded it after about five or six minutes. 
that looked okay. So um, just be patient with that step there, but this looks like it's going okay. We can actually send email addresses from Alex at idea test site. And now we can actually use that as our default address as well. Under writing email, we can actually have our default and our new address here, Alex at idea test site should show up there. So that's our new default address. If we go back to our inbox, we can now compose messages and now it should be from Alex at idea test site as our default email address. Now, before I send a test email, I'm going to show you a couple little tips to improve your email deliverability here. So under DNS, we're going to add a SPF and a DMARC record here. So fairly easy to do. Back in Cloudflare, in our domain, we are under DNS records. We're going to add a record here. And let's do the DMARC record first. So that's going to be uh, a text record. That's TXT for text, underscore DMARC. And we're just going to put a blank DMARC record in here. This can help on some email servers to improve deliverability. The other thing we can do is edit the SPF record. At the moment, it's got Cloudflare in here, but we can add um, Yahoo's SPF servers on here as well. So let's do that as well. All we have to do is add this part in here. So we're gonna add a uh, include, and then that's include with a colon, underscore SPF mail, yahoo.com. So I'll, I'll zoom that in a bit so you guys can see it a bit better. So I've got a space uh, with include colon underscore SPF mail uh, dot yahoo dot com and put that in there. So it's going to accept mails from Cloudflare and from Yahoo. Save that in. And that looks better. All right. So now let's test this out. So from Alex ID test site uh, to our Gmail account there, a uh, quick brief um, test email. Let's send it over. And that only took a few seconds. It's in our primary inbox, Alex at Idea Test Byte. We've got brand new email tutorial. Here's our test email. Let's have a look at the headers here. Show original. And we've got passes on SPF, DKM, and DMARC. So all of um, Gmail's security checks are working here just fine. So this looks really good. All right, to wrap this up, I have tested other methods of doing similar um, custom domain emails in the past. I'll put the playlist in the description, but Zoho email is a really good option, um, quite reliable and very good deliverability using Zoho. So I really quite like that one. Um, you are limited to the Zoho client though. So if you don't mind that, I think this one is a very good way of getting a free custom email. Also a couple of ways of doing this through Gmail rather than Yahoo. Gmail, I do recommend adding an extra step, adding a um, sender like Brevo or Mailjet to that process to get better deliverability. So um, the most recent one was this one where I used Improv um, rather than Cloudflare's forwarder. And there's this one using Cloudflare's forwarder. Um, both of these work just fine as well. Uh, earlier in the year, I did notice people were having um, some deliverability problem using the Cloudflare one with Gmail, but it seems to be working okay now. So um, your mileage may vary. Um, I think some people said they, they've got it working quite well now. So um, try out any of these you like. I think um, find that solution that works well. This Yahoo one, I think it was pretty easy to set up. And if you like using Yahoo, it's a great option. The other video you should definitely check out, email tips for email deliverability. I'll link that in the description as well. I think if you are um, running a business and you actually need very reliable email, there's better solutions than trying these free options. I think you should have a look at Microsoft Outlook's paid option, Google Workspace's paid option, um, Apple iCloud Plus. These are all the, the real industry standard solutions. They're not very expensive. I think if you're very serious about using your custom domain, you should probably look at those. And there's other tips in there to improve the deliverability, particularly when you're doing marketing. It can be difficult to actually land in an inbox these days, um, especially Gmail and Microsoft are very clever about filtering out um, marketing messages. So check out that one as well. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.